Hello, and welcome to, or welcome back to the channel, and welcome back to uh, some more Space Engineers. Uh, it's been a few days since we kind of messed with this thing a little bit. Uh, we do have our, our little guy here. Um, it, it's not working out nearly as well as I'd like for it to. Um, I'd like to have these things just slightly angled down um, just to help us a little bit to digging in. Uh, so, and... Ultimately, it's it's difficult to try to do a lot of these things. Um, the next thing that we could probably do is to make a flying a flying one, uh, and we could make this one fly if we really wanted to. Uh, it's like we have enough that we could probably just cut the tires off of it and turn it into a thing, um, and it may even be one of those things where uh, we could just kind of you know put some. Put some big engines on the top of it uh, and and fly it. Uh, but I don't know if I'm going to do that. Uh, if I'm going to do that, I might as well just... Uh, I got enough ice down here. I could just start building a, a ship to just go to space. Um, and then uh, kind of get off Triton and get back into, into space uh, and go do asteroid mining. Because obviously in space, that's a lot easier. Uh but I at least wanted to get started and to the point where we can do this stuff and get off of the planet. Um, so I think I'm going to start working towards that. Maybe uh, the problem is, is I need, I need more metals. Um, like I need, let's see, let me hit this and hit, uh, is it, uh, let's see. Yeah. So, um, I've got one point, a little bit over a, a kilogram of iron left, uh, production is still trying to turn stuff into iron plates for me. Uh, so, and I think that thing may be actually full. Um, is it full? No, it's not full. Why aren't you making stuff? They should all be making things. Uh, so we're going to go jump in our, our machine here. I, would like to find maybe I'll go over there to that rock and then and we'll do that. Let me see. Let me turn that off and then we'll do this and we'll just go. We got an unknown signal. Let's go talk to him real quick. Doop, doop. And then uh, that area, those mountains uh, have basically rock faces that are open to us. So maybe we'll just go just get a bunch of rock today uh, and bring it back, turn it into iron and stuff. And then. Uh, like being able to dig down into the surface. Uh, and I knew when I built this, that it wasn't optimal. Uh, ideally I'd like to build a big, a big one, um, and put a, like a mining, uh, drill arm on the back of it and just basically like go over things and, and just drill basically straight down into it, uh, be able to process the stuff and then, um, just make us a mobile base so maybe maybe that will be our direction we got to go next uh in order to build a mobile base so it's uh it's it's a bit so run up here see if we can find the button good the button's on the bottom of it The try luck, get a special item. I got a new a crocodile welder. Uh, and then if we go here, we look in here, we get some credits, some of those, and then we'll take our grinder and, and then take all the pieces out of it. I haven't ran into one that ran away from me yet. I know there are some that, that will do that. Get that thing over so it stops floating down the mountain. And uh, the trader, I think, uh, all those space bucks I've been gathering, we can take and give those to the trader. Do, 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 do. All right, so that's all done. So let's go over and talk to the mountain. I'm hoping when I get over there, there's still, still rock over there. That'd be great. Get us a little bit of drive, drive in this direction. 
so I've been happy with Space Engineers uh, so far. Uh, I, I'm, you know, it's just, it's the same problem that I, you know, worry about the server being, being bad. Because uh, the server has always been difficult to deal with. Uh, because it's just, it's not optimized. Uh, and then uh, having large amounts of people on the server uh, is enough to, to usually break it. Uh, and then, uh, to be fair, having me and Pete on the server is usually enough to break it. Um, so, and then you'll see, uh, we've already basically ran out, uh, our hydrogen, uh, I almost need to put another hydrogen, uh, or another oxygen generator on here just so I can produce up enough hydrogen to keep this, uh, this thing running. But there's enough ice here that uh, hydrogen hydrogen seemed like the way to go. I'm trying to find a place that is I can you know see rock on the surface uh, to make my life a little bit easier, so I know that I don't have to dig through you know five feet of ice to get to it. Even though you know I need the ice and everything. And honestly, do I have even have ice on me, or do I transfer it all to the station? Uh, let me see. Inventory. Uh, no, I, I, I've got a lot of ice on me still. <laughs> I still. I still have a lot of ice. And that that's the other next thing, is that uh, with that much ice on me, uh, like it limits how much uh, stone and, and stuff I can bring back. So, it's all a, all a balancing act. And we do have this thing turned down quite a bit. So, it, it'll only do like 70 miles an hour. Or 70 kilometers an hour. Uh, I, I get the wheels turned down so that it can't really go faster. Because, uh, especially on the ground, if you let these things go as fast as they want to, uh, you're going to end up with freaking uh, a, a sad day. Yeah, I know. See, I can do this. I can wiggle it. I can I can turn it without actually having to turn it. I can turn it with the, with a mouse. I just I'm heading towards that rocky foundation right there. It's fine. But yeah, so uh, like I said, the question I guess for this one, uh, and I've got maybe a couple more weeks uh, to kind of kind of mess around with space engineers uh we're kind of doing it on uh as we're waiting on uh satisfactory 1.0 to, to release um uh, and i'm basically uh once we get brand new uh once satisfactory 1.0 releases we're gonna start a brand new save we're and, and we're gonna go ahead and have a playthrough of that and just have some fun with it and kind of see what all's changed and what all's in in there now um and then uh, we'll do that. And then we have Test Drive Unlimited Solar Crown coming out too. Uh, I'm not sure. Still not sure about that one too much yet. Uh, I, I'm still, I'm, I'm cautiously optimistic. I'm hoping that it's going to turn out well. Um, but who knows? Do, 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 do. All right. Finally made it to this rock face. It still looks like a rock face, so that's that's good. Now, if I can get it to... Uh... There you go. Get some of that rocky goodness. So what I did was I right clicked for a second just to make a larger hole. So that way I could kind of kind of drive down into it and then start getting into the rock. And I could have done this right next to my base too. Um, but all right, well cyclone is cyclone is being cyclone. All right, come on, I'm trying to get in here. And then this is the problem with, with building a, uh, oh, uh, now I've done it. 
I was trying to clear a little path down there. It didn't work out well. All right, fine. We'll try again. I may have to... Oh, yeah, that was too much. All right. All right. Uh, that's exactly why I have these. We get there you go wiggle it out okay nope you're not gonna, not gonna play nice with me there you go come on oh i think what happens is i turn the thrusters on and the tires don't want to work anymore Like the forward and back are tied to the thrusters now instead of the. Oh, no, I may be stuck. Yep, and I'm just sliding back down into it. Oh, I made a big hole. All right, out we go then. I've gotten the stuck. Let's see, let's do this. Let's see if we can. Make this thing a little bit smoother to get out of here. All right. I don't know if that's going to help or not, but it's what I've done. Where's the... All right. So once again, not the best use of our time with this thing. Come on. All right, it needs more gyros. Raise it up just a little bit. Get it. There you go. Wiggle it. All right, we got out of it. All right, so that was a bad idea. Let's go over there and try that. <laughs> I just wanted stone. Is it too much to ask for a little bit of stone? Because uh, if I can get enough stone in this thing uh, to actually completely fill it, uh, you know, then we can... Uh, that'll give us a bunch of iron. That'll give us a, a good thing to start building, a, a at least a framework of stuff. And then we can start working on... I don't know. I, I'm probably going to just go, uh, I may go into the steam workshop and just look for an atmosphere miner. Um, and, uh, basically just pull a blueprint. Uh, I'm, I probably have a bunch of blueprints too. Uh, all the ones I have are going to be much older though. Uh, so uh, the newer ones that using the, the newer, newer items will probably be better. Um, so I may look into doing something like that. Uh, and then just to uh, get us an atmosphere miner. Uh, so, and, and that's really the, the difficult part of this is it's, you know, if I'm only playing it for an hour or two at a time uh, and being able to uh, make enough progress to make it, make it worthwhile, uh, it's, it's where it starts to run into an issue. Uh, is this, this game, this game, it'll, it'll take some time. It's, which is good. It's good to have a game that will take some time, you know, and not, you know, give you some, some play time out of it instead of just, uh, you do this. Let's try this again. All right, let's get us some rock. Hopefully this time not end up with, uh, you 
Just a little bit of wiggling. Now the only problem is, is it looks like that. Oh no, it's it's eating it away. It's fine. So we're just wiggling a little bit. But at least this way we can get get a lot more rock out of here at one time. Which is a lot faster than us having to do it manually. Come on. We go here and look. Uh, we can go look at our inventory. And basically, yeah, our industrial cockpit has got a bunch of stone in it. Um, I think... I go, oh, I think I have to get a script to get my, those to show me, show me the panels. Uh, I think you put a script in that will, will basically show you how much, uh, stuff you have on you. So we just get in here. We'll wiggle a little bit. Look back out here. A little bit more. The idea here is to kind of basically fill it up. Now, if you do the right click, it doesn't. It destroys the 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 rock. It won't pick it up. So you you don't want to do that too much because it's uh, it's not helpful. You end up twisting this thing in here and getting it stuck forever. Have to build another ship to get this ship out. wiggling I think some of my tires are you go to tires off-road suspension right so detach steering angle 20 power 60% strength so we're gonna give this thing a little bit more power and give it a little bit more strength. Height offset, we want that maxed out as far down as we can. Give it a little bit more friction. Uh, speed limit, eh, we give it a little bit more speed limit. 77 is good. All right. Uh, now we'll try that. Nope, it's still, they're still not, I still got ones that are spinning and ones that are, that are not spinning. The problem is I need the ones that aren't spinning to, to actually get some oomph under them so that they can get us, get us moving. Because my back ones are kind of not in touch with the ground right now, so it's making it hard to, to do what I'm trying to get up, get up, get out of the hole. There you go. All right. All right, fine. Let's go over here and try it. The real problem is, is because I'm starting off with this, that weird, the larger cut. And I can't really change how deep that first cut is. It's just kind of, just kind of does it. So I'm trying to drive up a hill, make that cut, and then trying to get it to where it goes flat in. And then my tires end up falling off the, the ground. And I can't do what I need to do. Um, so, and the suspension on this thing, like ideally what I'd want is a suspension that could turn a lot more. Or not turn a lot more, but to uh, get a lot more suspension out of it. Uh, and that's, that's really one of the things that your, your tires are really limited to that, that travel, uh, trying to build a long travel suspension in this game, uh, for a long time has been something that a lot of people have tried. Uh, I don't, I don't think anybody's actually succeeded at it yet. Uh, but it would be something that would greatly, greatly help. Cyclone's being cyclone. Doot, 
Alright, so into the diggy. So I think I don't think that's my full full cockpit down or from my full cargo. It's not my full cargo, is it? Uh no. Drill. Some of my drills are filling up. Uh, that car goes full, that car goes full, that car goes full, that car goes full. Um, that thing's full now. Do that. Let's go to production. We'll get this thing running while we're sitting out here not doing anything. So at least some of these. Uh, the whole part of the reason I put a survival kit on here was so we could get it to kill uh, some stone while we're out here. So we'll just do that. All right. Easy enough. All right, so maybe that is getting full. Maybe my drills are getting. Right, maybe we'll head back. Another unknown signal. Yeah, and then it's getting all icy and nasty again. All right, so we were doing like 15.4 on the way out here, so we'd get a little bit faster. You you want to kind of be careful with how fast you're, you're traveling across this place because it's, woo, you can uh, you can end up destroying your ship real quick. All right, so the trick here is, is to get back. We'll have it start building us some more iron plates because uh, I'm going to need those. And probably I, I need to start just building a, a large, uh, very... beginner type uh, drill rig. Uh, so what I want is I want, I want a drill rig that has a basically extending arm on the back of it. So I can just pull over a spot, lock the thing into place, and then just send down like a handful of drills. Uh, and then basically just extend them down on a, on an arm down to, I'd say at least 50 meters. Um, further, you know, if we need to. So that means that we're going to need at least five, um, Uh, pistons uh, on the downward stroke um, so and maybe one or two more uh, to try to get it to where I can uh, on the, the up uh, so that way we can have enough room to actually get down to the ore because that's really the trick is to get down to the ore uh, and be able to get enough ore uh, from punching a hole uh, to kind of make it worth our while uh, and then start slowly building building that and then uh, maybe we'll look at that at building that and then building engines on that and using that to take off into space and turn that into our space station which means that if we're going to do it on here that means everything has got to be pressurized and oxygenated and everything uh, which in and of itself is a is a it can be a difficult process so uh, what we'll do, look at doing and then trying to build those large refineries on a, on a, uh, a mobile base. It's going to be, it's going to be big. It's, it's going to be big, but I always like doing that. I like building a big, a big factory and then using it to take off. So, uh, what we'll do is we'll go back. We'll take these resources and put them back into the base. Uh, and then hopefully between this episode and next, I'll be able to get some more, more done. Uh, and then when we come back next time, we'll start start looking at trying to build uh, some sort of mobile mining drill, which is going to be massive. Uh, it's going to be a lot of work. Uh, but sometimes that's uh, what you got to do. Let's turn this way. Do that. Do that one. Is 
that looks right now. Let's slowly back in. There you go. Just just a little bitty little bitty sparks. All right, so that should do that, and then we should start seeing. Uh, it should start pulling the rocks out. So if I jump out of that guy, I'm just gonna leave that th thing turned on, so that way everybody's everybody's running. And then we'll run over to this guy. So and he's basically pulling rocks in as fast as he can, uh, and we'll start turning that stuff into that. All right, let's do this. Put all this stuff away. All right, all that stuff goes away. Uh, my other miner, wherever it is, buried back there. Should be working also. Uh, small container. Basic is, no, basic, uh, basic refinery. So the basic refinery here is, it's, uh, it's pulling stuff in too. Uh, we can always go over here and go, you rocks, go. Oh, that's already in there. Uh, you rocks, go in there. Nope, it's full now. It says it's full. All right. And then the big refinery. Yeah, so it's just, it's going to take a minute. So that little bit of process for us to get all that stuff. Uh, and now it's going to have to work for a while to get that figured out. So uh, that will be the goal and the plan is kind of going forward is starting to build towards our um, some sort of mobile mining base. Uh, I guess if y'all have a you know a, a preference whether we stay on the planet or go to space, uh, throw that down there. Obviously space is a lot easier because I can just build I can just build a, a miner. I, I can just build a big ship uh, and uh, heck we can even just start with the the, the one and then just build something to attach to it. Um, but starting on the planet, I think starting on the planet, even though it says it's easier here, uh, it, it's harder because mining on the planet is harder because you have to deal with gravity. Uh, so, but we will cross that bridge when we get to it. Y'all you know, be safe. Um, as always, if y'all like the video, throw a like on them. If you have a question, comment, or concern, please leave that down below. And if you're not subscribed and you'd like to be, there's a button for that also. You guys be safe. We'll talk to y'all soon. Bye.